All right, so let's talk about converting metric units. I love met the metric system. It's just a, a lot more easier than the standard system when it comes to converting because everything's done in tens, hundreds, and thousands. Um, so in fourth grade, we basically measure three different things. We measure length, we measure weight or mass, and we talk about volume and time. But those are the three big ones that we're going to talk about today when it comes to converting metric units. When we talk about um, the metric system, um, there's base units that we use for length, weight, and volume. When we talk about length, um, the metric unit that we use is the meter. And when we talk about weight, the base unit is grams. And then there's liters for volume. Today, I want to mostly focus on the weight, but um, we'll get there in just a second. So now, um, with those base units, the metric system is really great because what they do is they add a prefix in front of that base unit, and it changes it. So, for example, there's um, three big prefixes that, that we're going to use. We have the kilo. We have the centi and milli. And if we know what those words mean, then um, we can easily convert back and forth between these different units. Um, kilo means a thousand. Centi means one one hundredth, meaning that there are a hundred centimeters in a meter. And milli, it means one one thousand, meaning that there's a thousand millimeters in a meter or a thousand milligrams in a gram. Um, so the big thing to remember are these three prefixes right here. Kilo means a thousand, centi means a hundred. For centi, I always think about cents because there's a hundred cents in a dollar or a hundred years in a century, that sort of thing. And then milli means uh, a thousand. Uh, don't be confused, it does not mean a million in this case, it means a thousand. So if we can keep these things in mind, then we're set to convert just about any unit out there, as long as we can remember these base units also here, grams, liters, and meters. Okay, so let's take a look at um, how many grams are in three and a half kilograms. So I'm going to erase this part right here, and we're going to keep up those prefixes because they're going to help us in just a second to find this, um, this conversion. So if we look at this, I'm just going to take a look at the three first. We're going to skip the half for now. And it says three kilograms. And what I know from looking over here, I see that kilo means a thousand. So if I've got three kilograms, that actually means I've got three thousand grams. Because if I have one kilo, that's a thousand grams. Well, if I have three kilograms, that is three thousand grams. So this guy is the same as 3,000 grams, okay? So now, we've done this three. Let's take a look at the half. And the way I think about a half is, let's, let's think about our one. So if one kilogram is, um, and kg is going to be our uh, abbreviation. So um, if one kilogram is equal to uh, 1,000 uh, grams, then if we have half a kilogram, then we're just taking half of a thousand. And we know that half of a thousand is, in fact, 500. So half of a kilogram is equal to 500. So now let's add that together, this 500 and this 3,000, and we can find our final answer. That um, three and a half kilograms is going to be 3,000 500, oops, not kilograms, but grams, because that's what we're trying to figure out, was how many grams there are in three and a half kilograms. So um, if we can remember these guys right here, then we'll have no problem converting between units. Remembering that kilo means 1,000, centi means 1 one-hundredth, and milli means uh, 1,000. So in just a little bit, I'll do another video, and I want to convert um, centimeters so you can see how uh, that plays out. All right. Thank you. Bye.